Hello there. <laughs> From me and Junior. So I had uh, a thing I encountered with a jig request uh, for help, and this was a solution that I had come up with. So this is how I am going to show how to solve it. The question was this. Let's say you have a jig. Probably is going to look something like this. You have it centered, and then you got all these box shapes. You've grouped it, and you've got it all centered and lined up and put exactly you know where you want it to be like ah yes this is my jig and i'm going to you know ungroup all of these so i have these little square pieces and i want to take my design and shift click there and put it there and ah look how wonderful it lined up and ah this is such a great jig but you know sometimes you might make an accident and move one of these pieces out of place and like ah my jig is messed up so you know what that happens sometimes here's what you do to fix that first let's get our little design graphic out of the way and address the jig itself so first off this outside area is probably going to be the outside border of the piece of wood that you're using and all of these internal cuts is where you're going to be putting your coasters your leatherette patches your whatever it is that you're using this as a jig for so first things first Make sure you select all of these inside pieces and ungroup everything. You want all of these to be individually selectable. Now, once you've done that, you need to also decide, okay, is this something you want to be cutting every time or do you just want it as a reference? If you just want it as a reference, meaning you're not actually going to cut, I would recommend assigning these as T1 or T2. You know, just so we have some differentiation and whatever, you know, outside border is blue, inside border is, you know, that orange color. These are not engrave or fill or anything. It's just a reference. This is where this space exists. It won't actually do anything when you go and look at preview. It is just there as a reference. Now, what you can do with this is use it as an alignment, but still you have the ability to move it around and shift it so here's what you do to make sure these don't move around i'm going to select all of those including this outside shape right click lock selected shapes now what that is done is it has locked the material setting and also locked it in place like i'm going to use my arrow keys nothing I want to select my graphic, use the arrow keys, and oh look, I can move those around. I can, you know, do that. I can scale and rotate it as I want. But these, nope, they are locked in place. I cannot do anything with them. So now I can take my graphic and decide, okay, you know, that's the size I want it. Hit align horizontally and vertically, and look at that. I have perfectly set it up exactly in the middle of that spot. And if you want to duplicate this, you know, go to the next one over and, you know, center that one vertically and so on and so forth until you filled up your board. That may be a little more manual labor than you necessarily plan for, but in this way, you can select everything and all you're moving is the intended graphic, not your actual jig. So hopefully that helps someone. Hopefully that uh, gets your jig up and going in the space that you want it and uh yeah hope that helps thank you for watching bye